<laughs> we'll, we'll redo it. We'll <laughs> yeah, I told Dylan that I would kind of direct him, but he's just going now. He's on a mission. I know. I'll tell you, like, if you get a book that I already have. Maybe he knows what he's doing. What? Probing my teeth with my tongue, I flinched at the short points of fangs. No, go in here and read this part. That's the good part. Why are all of these vampires? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, wait, Dylan. No, you gotta give me one of these. You gotta give me one. <laughs> no, Dylan, or this one. Okay. Do you want to go to romance? Okay. I already recognize like four of these. <laughs> Do you want me to give you help or? Okay, we're. Oh, this is gorgeous. I don't. Wait, that's book two. It's book two. Oh, that's wild. Find the, find the first one. <laughs> that's cool. I don't know what that is. Okay. I found you one. Oh, you did? Binge read. Did I binge read? What do you mean? You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? Okay, this one does sound good too. You gotta add, like, don't even ask me. Stress me out, sorry. You're not gonna stress me out. This one is 381. Okay, what? Okay, okay word. Oh, that one's pretty. <gasps> Holy moly. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Come on, let me just look over my shoulder. We're back, and I thought that I would give you guys a haul of everything I got and show you what he picked out for me. It was a lot of fun book shopping. I think he had fun too, so we're getting into the books. So he picked out two books for me to read in a week, and it's probably gonna take me a little bit longer than a week because the, one of the books is kind of big. He picked out two books, but I came out with three because I have no self-control. So I'm gonna say this right now so that you guys can hold me accountable and I can watch this back and feel upset if I buy another book. I'm going on a book ban. He told me that essentially he wanted to pick a book that he knew that I would like, but also he wanted to pick a book that he was interested in and he wanted me to read. So the first one is gonna be Stephen King because he loves Stephen King. This one is The Outsider. So other than Stephen King, he picked out this book and I'm actually really excited for it. So it is The High Mountain Court and it's by A.K. Mulf. Move forward, but I am really excited to read these. They're definitely different. I thought he would pick like a romance or something because I've definitely been into more romance um, this year and it makes me happy, but we'll see. I haven't read a fantasy since the Tandem Read because I've been in a slump with fantasy. And then this was a book that I wanted to choose myself because we had finished up looking at books that he was going to choose, so it was now my turn. So for that, I really wanted to get into Jessa Hastings. I saw Never by Jessa Hastings and one of the biggest things that I saw and what caught my eye is just this gorgeous, absolutely brilliant cover. This is one of the prettiest covers I've ever seen in my entire life. So this is kind of like a, I don't want to say like a Peter Pan retelling. I don't know about you, but I didn't even like read the entire synopsis. I saw the cover and I was like, yes. And then I was just reading it to Rebecca and she was like, shut up. I need to read this after you. I'm not sure if I'm going to start reading. I do need to get some editing done. I'm not sure which one I want to start. So I'll probably ask Dylan tonight which one I should. And then I'll update you guys a little later when I've made a dent in something or I picked up something. Hi guys. Okay, this is like a different setup. I'm trying something different. Um, it is 1020. I was literally just in the bath for like an hour and a half reading. Who was gonna tell me that reading in a bath is so therapeutic? I had a really rough night last night and I think my, my mental health has uh, not been good to say the least. I had the 
the scariest and the worst panic attack of my life my of my life la yeah, last night it was really scary and i was so exhausted after it i almost passed out it was really scary luckily dylan was there to call me but i've never had this bad of a panic attack i don't remember the last time i had one waking up today having to go straight to work from 10 to 10 a.m to when i ended was eight it was kind of a weird shift because i had to put on a face that i was okay and that i wasn't anxious and the entire day i feel like my chest has been really heavy and i just have not been okay sorry i went on a huge rant which you guys probably don't care about but i decided to go take a bath and i used epstein salts with lavender so that really helped and my skin feels so smooth pretty much i was reading in the bath for like an hour and a half putting on some music with the candles on i'll turn the lights off and just read using candlelight but yeah i feel a lot better right now and i'm definitely gonna get ready for bed soon so i can just edit and whatnot but let me do a little reading update that's the point of this clip anyways <laughs> let's talk about what i've read so far so with fantasy books i found it is so much harder for me to read personally just because it's obviously about a different world so it's that like i have to use my mind i have to use my head then my memory bank and you know whatnot it's romances are so much easier and i feel like they fly by but fantasy you know there's sometimes a slowness and then you know anyways i'm just saying that this one is definitely taking me a second but it's a lot better than yesterday because right yesterday after going to barnes i started reading i asked dylan which one to start so i started reading the high mountain court and so the first 50 pages were really hard for me to get to it's obviously the first 50 pages of a fantasy and usually fantasy books take a good 100 or so for it to really get into it and i'm on page 74 i'm in the middle of a chapter literally which is, i don't even want to give it away because like it was so spectacular i was just sitting there and i was like i am um, i'm starting to see the tension between the two main characters hale hal hal not hale hal and remy anyway something happened in the book in the literally the first 70 pages so like i was saying it sometimes takes a second to get into fantasy and i'm already hooked like after those events that happened in like 20 pages i'm like oh my god i didn't know what was happening i knew what was happening but it was weird like we were talking about this mission they had to go on that he needed a red witch and he needed to find these artifacts to find the prince and then out of nowhere they just start traveling and i'm like okay where first off where are we going what are we trying to do we didn't get any of that so that storytelling was not there it's late i'm probably gonna edit i'm gonna call dylan tonight um just so you can we can talk so i don't know how much i'll do more reading of so i will update you guys later when i have something else to say or finish the book <laughs> It's gonna get rougher because I have three exams due next week. Anyways, hi, I'm still not done with this book. Oh, it's a trip. It is so. I'm so bored. I just, I don't care. I just don't care about this. I'm not invested whatsoever. I'm just trying to get. Nothing has been exciting of this book. Literally nothing exciting about it. I'm not having fun, I'm bored, and I feel like it's just because it's taking me so long that it's not gonna be a great review. There's nothing special about this at all. I just, it doesn't feel like there's anything here that I care about. If I don't finish this book in like two days, I'm literally going to DNF it because I am just not having fun with it.
I have finished the book and uh, I wish I liked it more. Last night and today literally was just skimming through. I don't care. <laughs> Looking at reviews, trying to like figure out what I was trying to say. And I just did not feel connected to these characters. Let me just read this review because it's exactly how I feel. While this book had a good story, and I found the different factions of witches intriguing. It was not enough for me to say this was a great read. Writing was very mad at me. The author didn't really flesh out feelings. Everything felt really rushed. I didn't feel intrigued for the character stories. I just didn't care about the characters. Uh, we spent more time on watching Heather mix potions to heal Remy's feet than we did on the familial bonds between Heather, Fen, and Red. Remy literally did not see any of that. They were gone half the book. It was really frustrating. Uh, the chemistry of the two main characters was whiplash inducing as well. One day they are annoying each other and insulting one another and hours later they are feeling things. Their romance was not a slow pace at all. I think from the beginning they wanted one another but I didn't feel any of that. Like there was nothing that was showing me that tension it was really frustrating because even though it was like a quick paced, nothing happened. Didn't like the lack of built of build up between them things happen too quickly the spicy scenes were right but not enough to make up for the lack of chemistry between them so that's just mainly how i felt like there's nothing special about this book and when things started to finally kick up i just didn't care this book was only like 350 and i was so bored in 200 pages and i was so upset too because i was so ready for things to kick up i get that in fantasy books sometimes stuff is really slow things are slowed down and i get it but this one just it didn't keep me going and I feel like with the first book in a series you want it to be intriguing I just feel like it was a lot of describing and it was a lot of traveling and nothing happened There was this one part where Hale Protected Remy from these witch hunters and I was so intrigued That was probably the quickest I've read this book literally so excited about it and then that was it that was the only tension type thing I saw between them the biggest plot point at the end was so rushed through they were done with it in two pages I was like, hello, what are you talking about? You're okay with this. What are you talking about that you love him? Blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, I just was really, I'm just really upset. So sad that I didn't like this. And I was just, this put me in such a slump, but I got through it. So on to the next book. <laughs> Okay, eight pages in and I'm very invested. It's a little terrifying. Uh, trigger warning, I'm guessing, essay. Um, and it's probably gruesome, so just so you know. It's Stephen King, so. We're gonna talk about this book though. So I started The Outsider. The first 30 pages was kind of tough to get through. When I'm reading, the first 50 pages are really hard for me to get through because I'm just not invested. So that definitely takes me a second to get through. Even sometimes the first 100, I'm sold. I'm sold and I'm on page 124. The only thing I'm kind of annoyed about is um, he doesn't have chapters. His chapters start like halfway down the page basically if you want to call those chapters so that's the only thing that's kind of bugging me but this book is literally amazing so far i'm so invested and i feel so bad for this man um terry maitland and it's frustrating too because terry's innocent but everyone thinks that he isn't and i'm like guys like i was the police officer in this situation it would be bonkers i would not know what to think because you have all of this dna and these witnesses but then also it's like too much killers slip up it happens everyone knows this one day they will slip up but this is like too many slip ups so many people saw him do the act there's so much dna and it just doesn't make sense and there's also little things that terry is doing he's got like a pinky with like a longer fingernail or something and it's just these little baby things that no one would really think of but they're weird but literally i would be starstruck and i would not know what to believe and i would read tonight more but i just finished studying and it's 11 11 make a wish please let my macro test go well i know that i'm not studying as much as i should but please just give it to me i didn't know if i was gonna like stephen king honestly i didn't know if he was up my alley but um right now yeah <laughs>
able to pick up this book the entire day because of what just happened. Is that allowed? Like, can he do that? I'm devastated! I'm at page 200 now. Found this online playlist. There's something in here. Um, that's like 1949 sitting on a porch on a summer night and then oldies playing in the background and I've never felt so at home. And then literally, I'm only 19. <laughs> like, I've never experienced that, but it's so peaceful. Let's read this book. Cheers. Okay, why is this music kind of scaring me now? Because after the little girl was saying like he had straws for his eyes, that kind of creeped me out. Like I'm not even gonna lie right now. Like I feel like I feel like really creeped out. It's like 12. But the music's fun, so I don't. I'm fine. I really wanted things to start to kick up because we've just been pretty much talking about Terry and what's been happening and pretty much coming to, clue, to the conclusion that he was in two places at once technically but now we're actually getting into the smaller facts i think what happened was whatever it is followed terry from ohio when he went to go visit family and it is now in their hometown of whatever in flint city oklahoma so i'm thinking that's what happens it all kind of comes together um especially if that boy did steal that car there and it brought it there but also it comes to the fact that literally there's another evidence showing that harry flew yeah this is a very disturbing book i'm not even gonna lie a lot of things just happens my head is spinning i actually kind of feel creeped out because one of the girls saw something like outside their window and she was saying that his hair was like black and it was sticking up and his face looked like play-doh kind of like it was all mushed around Ugh. and then he had straw for eyes and i don't know what that means but like it's making me scared so yeah we're almost halfway we're probably like 30 percent done with this book i'm trying to get more updates because now i think things are gonna like start kicking up and everything but Dylan picked a good book. I thought I wasn't going to enjoy this and this is literally exactly what I wanted to read and honestly I didn't think I was gonna enjoy it. So the fact that this isn't something that I usually would pick up, I like this more than like my annual normal witches and love book is different. I think I failed my exam and so Sid said that we could go together to go like go buy a book and we'd keep each other accountable but I'm literally going there for one book and one book only. Um, that's my little cup of tea that I get. And then I think we're going to get like coffee and hang out and stuff. But other than that, I can probably get a good bit of it in because I think 50, like if I pretty much get to 300, I'd be happy with that. So let's try to do that tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go take my makeup off and everything and go to bed. I just finished Stephen King's The Outsiders like literally right now and it is 4 43 and it's the Sunday that this is supposed to be uploaded but I already said like this video is gonna be late I wanted to finish the book and I want to actually edit it a good way not just rush through it I'm here to do my wrap-ups um 
this was a really fun challenge and I'm really glad that Dylan picked out these books because considering that I I think that sometimes book talk it can grab our attentions and really kind of decide what we're reading and what's popular and what's not popular and yada 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 so having an outsider pick what I read is different honestly I think he did a really good job and I'm glad that he did it he would be here with me I he was we were hanging out this morning um he had a sleepover but I took him home he had to do a lot of homework and I needed to finish this as you can see I'm cleaning as well there's like no sheets on my bed and whatnot we were gonna do it together but I'll just facetime him later and tell him how I thought of the books um and he'll probably hopefully watch this we'll see but as we all know that he read he picked the high mountain court by a.k mulford and then he picked the outsiders by stephen king we'll start with stephen king the outsider because i just finished it and honestly i have my thoughts here enjoyed this i really did the story was so different it's something that i wouldn't have picked up honestly because it is a thriller type of psychological um supernatural type book if you want to say it like that this book was really good and i really enjoyed it the only thing i had an issue with was his plot moved very slow this was 560 pages and i feel like it didn't have to be um but at the same time the path that he moved for the story it worked and the clues that he gave for the stories worked so I think it was just because I'm a slow reader and I'm kind of in a reading slump just mentally because of personal things. That's why it took me long to read this because when I was reading this, I read this super quick. So it just took me a couple days to read that amount of pages, I think. So that's what I personally think. But his story was really complex. The little clues that he got were just things that you wouldn't think of as clues but then they created a bigger picture i was a little underwhelmed at the ending like when they did find the thing and they had that encounter i wanted more i guess i felt like it was just not what i wanted personally but it was still good and i did enjoy it and i'm glad that it ended it the way it was i feel like i was just kind of bummed about that so but overall the story was good the mystery the suspense was there and i did really enjoy it so this one i am going to give a four stars but overall like finishing it and actually thinking of it i really enjoyed it it was just the ending that was kind of meh to me his writing is really slow like that's even what my dad was saying it's like a suspenseful type of writing and he gets every little detail but because he did that i had all the details intact and i knew what i was reading so that's the good thing about his writing so you won't miss a beat i did enjoy it um and dylan and i are watching the series right now and i've already found some things in like the three episodes we've watched that are a little different from the book um but overall this was really good and i really enjoyed it and i want to start reading more of stephen king's i have it so maybe in a video i'll read it we'll see but um that book is huge and a little scary and then this book i finished a little bit ago and personally i actually didn't read like the last 30 pages because i was just extremely bored and i felt like i didn't have a connection with the characters and the biggest plot point was rushed through i thought you know she would hate him blah 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 but literally it took a page and a half to get through it and then they were like lovey-dovey again so personally i didn't like this book Again, if it doesn't work for me, it means it might work for you, it might not work for you, you know, everyone's opinion is different, but personally, I didn't like this, and I felt like the, the fantasy part of this was kind of lacking, like you got to talk about the witches, but nothing was really developed in the world, and I feel like I was kind of bored. So that's the biggest thing, and I just didn't feel like I had a connection with the story, and I just overall did not care so i'm gonna give this us two stars which sucked because i was really intrigued with like a new different fantasy but it just didn't come in clutch so but overall this challenge was a i think a success we had a book that i didn't like but a book that i really did like which is funny because this was dylan's pick that he thought like he would enjoy and that i would enjoy and then this is the book that he thought i would like and i actually didn't like I think you did a good job, baby. <laughs> but with that being said, I thought it was fun getting out of my comfort zone and trying something new. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry this is coming late and I promise I'll either get it up today or I'll get it up on Sunday. I personally am not doing well mentally and I'm just going to give myself, take some time to get through what I need to get through and it is spring break so I just want to focus on myself. So I will get this video up as soon as I can, whether it's not today, maybe a Monday, we'll have to see. But thank you guys for watching. Please give this a like and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so every single time I post. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.